yeah so uh, right now you're here that you see this is a yamaha rd uh, one of the first rd's race drive machines uh, that was racing in the uh, you know the moto gp championships for yamaha so this is a 1 is to 12 scaled model uh, which i've clicked this is a jaguar uh, tusker squadron and tusker squadron was based out of ambala air force base and i being in being uh, from ambala having studied in the army school ambala so this was something which i had to have in my collection although i'm not a very uh, aircraft uh, fan but this is uh, one of the two aircrafts that i have in my collection so this is a photoshopped uh, you know pre post processed image uh, that i clicked uh, going forward so this is a michelin uh, citroen ds plr basically an 11 wheeled vehicle which was uh, you know made uh, in made for michelin to test their truck tires so this thing has uh, two v8 engines one to drive the car and one to drive the truck tire uh, which sits in the middle and uh, next to it you see the michelin uh, bibendum and a set of tires around it so those are actually 3d printed which is uh, what i do at home i have a 3d printer at home Uh, which is an extension to this uh, scale model hobby of mine uh, a part of my professional uh, um, thing as well but uh, more on the hobby side so this is the 2019 suzuki katana which was showcased at the recently concluded uh, auto expo as well uh, this is a model which i had got from uh, japan uh, some time back this is one of the uh, rare concept cars uh, people who play video games would know about uh, the gt game the gran turismo so uh, this is the renault alpine vision gt concept car which was made for uh, particularly for this game uh, right. by the uh, renault design team okay right. so, so uh, this... sorry to interrupt you know but sakar has a question it's there on your screen Uh, uh, what is the most unusual interaction or memory you've had with a Hot Wheels collector or collectors? Let's see some pictures unusual, as well. Yeah. Uh, unusual interaction or memory. Oh. I unusual interaction. Screen share. Screen share. Can we? Can you? Can you show us some pictures over there on your screen share? Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Unusual interaction. Now, tell me. so there's no specific unusual interaction uh, but yeah people do get uh, surprised with the fact that you know uh, uh, you know somebody like me has uh, cars like these which a uh, lo lot of people have not really heard of so the reaction that they give the facial expressions are pretty interesting to look at uh, you know that kind of gives me a kick but uh, apart from that the uh, interactions have been uh, very good you know uh, you know everybody has their own choices and uh, the respect everybody's uh, you know collection the good part about this uh, hobby is that uh, while i cannot have anything everything for myself i can always you know look at the model that the other person has and you know just get get happy about it so it's you know getting happy for somebody else who has another model which probably i wanted long time back so, so very cool let, let's go on with the show thanks so that was sami's uh, question to sami's answer right. so or photo dikha uh, yaar so this is a photo which i clicked uh, some time back so this is a small uh, 1 is to 32 scale cheap uh, bentley uh, which i had i sprayed some uh, talcum powder over it trying to give it a you know a snowed out uh, feel and then eventually i worked on it post processed the entire thing and this is uh, i i I came up with something. Uh, wait, just I'll I'll just uh, show you the image. I think so. This is what I came up with as a final uh, photoshopped uh, post-processed image from that particular uh, photo that I took. So I do a lot of. Uh, in some cases, I do a lot of uh, post-processing uh, just to give the final feel uh, to the. Uh, you know the picture but otherwise uh, you know i click and i keep them as it is uh, no filters and uh, no post processing on most of these 
so this is a honda cb750 that i had taken in from uh, a, uh, from japan so the guy standing next to it is a 3d printed model which i have hand painted myself so yeah like i said you know i 3d print stuff to go along with my uh, models and with my dioramas so i print a lot of accessories to go along with these to make it look a little more realistic uh, this is one of the cars uh, i had about a decade back which i got uh, custom painted uh, from a friend of mine so this uh, copper lining that you see is actually copper film with a very high gloss finish that we did on this another view of uh, that particular car so this was actually orange uh, chevel uh, nova chevy nova ss but we turned it into gunmetal gray with a copper uh, film on there that uh, when this i was is... talking about dioramas so this is one of the yeah, dioramas yeah. that i had uh, built up uh, recently so this is Amazing. basically a plastic uh, toy truck which is available in the market for i think about 200 bucks or something like that and right. uh, using cheap models to break up or using cheap models to use in stuff like this is always uh, pocket friendly so i go for matlab uh, abhi bhi aapki wo bachpan wali todne aur marodne ki aadat gayi nahi abhi bhi wo zinda bachpan ki aadat hai sir ara aasani se jayegi thodi shaabash shaabash yahi to siddha chahte the anyway so tapan's got one interesting question so uh, yeah. it's up on your screen so tapan's asking uh, what would be the three cars from your scale models that you would like to have in 1 is to 1 is to 1 1 is to 1 yeah in 1 is to 1 स्टूडियो Achha, yeah, yeah. Okay, so, I remember that. That was hilarious. Yes, so P three fifty is one that I would really want to have in a one is to one scale. Uh, right. The second you one, to, would... you want to drive around your studio in that. I mean, it's huge, so I think it will be ideal for you. एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जाना नहीं पड़ेगा. Yeah, I think I think that would make a lot of sense. Yes. Fabulous, fabulous. Or yeah. the next one. So one is the P. What else? Yeah, the second one would be a Datsun five uh, ten. Uh, you really the, like the Datsun 510. You know, oh, to be yes. honest, with, yeah. To be to be honest with you, while growing up and all, we used to have these uh, Japanese cars from the 70s and 80s because uh, I was fortunate that my dad was abroad, so we tagged along. But those right. cars were really not that good. You know, up to their hype and the way they've been modded and converted. Because back then they were just boxes that would ne- not break down and give you a decent gas mileage. But otherwise, apart from that. I mean that's no, that's frankly, one thing. Uh, the yeah. reason why I would, the frankly, the reason why I would actually want to have a Datsun 510 is because of its boxy styling. I really yeah, love the boxy uh, styling. Why not? Why not the Fiat 131 then? I mean, you know, the the 131 Mira Fiori is a box again. Uh, it is from the yes, same time period. I would still prefer it's the bigger. 510 over the 131. अरे ऐसे कैसे यार यू फ्रॉम इटली यू गोट टू इटली एंड 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 बिलीव मी इफ आई हैव टू इफ इफ आई हैव टू टेक अप एन इटालियन कार देन इट वोंट बी द 131 फॉर मी इट वुड बी द लांचा फुलविया अरे अभी तो आपने चिंके चेंटो बोला था वो फियाट uh, 500 वो हॉट व्हील्स वाले में बेस्ट है ना अच्छा वो हॉट व्हील्स वाले में हां वो हॉट व्हील्स वाले उस सेट में बेस्ट है अच्छा ठीक है सो सो द 510 ओवर द मायरा फियोरी हां दैट इज व्हाट यू से हां या 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 Wait, I, I have to show you one Myra Fury. One second, uh, the, uh, just a second. You can talk about this car. I'm just, uh, I'm just going to. Where's the screen gone? You, you pulled out the screen. I, I pulled out the screen. You were showing me something, right? Yeah. So I need to just go and get it. So, uh, okay. yeah. So pull the screen on. Talk about a picture for a minute. I'll be back in a second. Pull the screen all right, up. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And Are yeah, you... just talk about that. I want to show you that. Um, Okay, so this is one of those cars from the uh, Hot Wheels Golf uh, series, which came out recently. Which I had said that one second. You know, they were Sorry, really nice cars. Third, 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 wali car. I have not told you. First, answer that, then I can. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah. So third car that I would want to have is a Mustang. 
preferably a Shelby GT uh, 500, the Eleanor, if at all I can have that. That would be something really, really nice to have. Uh, the one from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Right, so I'll just take you through uh, uh, the rest of the photographs. This is a Lamborghini Mura concept from 2006. This is a 1S64 scaled uh, Kyosho model. Uh, this car was actually made uh, as a homage to the original Mura 40 years down the line. Uh, never really went into production. Only one was made as a concept car, and that sits in the Lamborghini Museum in Italy. So, uh, like I said, you know, another figurine uh, to go along with a bike of mine, the Suzuki Katana from 1982, the original uh, bikini fared uh, 1100cc superbike that came out from Suzuki, which really changed the world, uh, the, the way the world looked at uh, bikes back then. For sure, this has to be my favorite and you know most influential bike from 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 back in my times because uh, when this bike, I remember when this bike actually came out, uh, yeah. the air uh, there was nothing that looked like this on the street. I mean, yes. you know that type that was the age of Battlestar Galactica and all of those uh, crazy sci-fi movies and all. And when this thing came out, it's like. You know the future was here because they had those flying bikes and that and then this looked so so similar to something that uh those guys uh would fly in and in on to earth with and uh yeah this bike was uh this bike was actually basic for its time i would way say ahead. yeah so i i've got what i wanted to show you here yeah look at this just, just a minute yes oh yes i have this 131 with me as well that's a right. part of my so, so yes yeah, so the, the, the question again 510 or the 131 i mean come on you know growing up i was partial because i know you are a, i know you are a die hard fiat fan but i'm not <laughs> we used to have one of these uh, 131 uh, you know the four door one actually for a few years and we also had the jap cars and we also had the uh, volkswagen square, square backs and all of those cars that believe me out of the hype that those cars have got right now and back then they were no 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 this the fiat never let us down it was it was it was brilliant and for me personally you know uh having been there at that point in time uh grown up with these cars push them sometimes uh when they break down so yeah we've had our memories and not that the jap cars broke down but the, but, uh, the volkswagen uh, certainly did the fiats never so yeah, my my personal experience has been yeah the I, I take the one three one over the over the five one zero any day any day. 